Okay, so it's supposed to be underneath an axe. Probably like that one. Yep. Let's see what they've got. Alright, for those people that want to play with heavy weapons, the Obsidian Great Axe is awesome. And for those who don't, it sells extremely well. So, worth more than the 500 gold Need I could give back. To fight beside you. So now we walk back to the beach where the lady was, and we can continue on with the storyline. Um, I believe there is a chest all the way at the end of the beach, too, if I remember correctly. And some pie. Pie is awesome. I think this has assassin boots in it. Hey, look at that. Oh man, I just remembered I forgot to pick up the new quest from the guild. I gotta run back there real quick. Alright, so let's teleport back. Okay. Bandit Cirrus. Go ahead and take that. Let's see if there's any upgrades real quick. Oh yeah, I have plenty of experience. Toughness, get that. Health is always nice. Might as well round it out with some more physique. I still got tons of experience left. Buy more. And some more health. Let's see if we can get any good uh, skill. Get a little faster speed. And I might as well check the magic. Ooh, I love inflame. That comes very in handy later. Magic power some... increases your capacity for storing mana. Let's interrupt the player. Get some more uh, magic power, like he was saying. And I might as well pick up some guile. Guile increases your stealth and improves your trading skills. I'm not really going to use it for stealth, but I'm going to use it for giving me the ability to steal without being noticed. Um, at the low levels, it's pretty poor. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. If nobody's watching, uh, at least it doesn't, like, insta-give you a, a fine. You can actually get away with it. Yeah, that feels a lot better, having a lot more health now. I'm watching you. You better be. Alright. Now this is where, in my opinion, the game really starts to take off. Uh, action and story-wise. So let's get this party started. You'll need to sneak past those bandits to reach their camp. If any of them see you, they'll raise the alarm and lock the gate. And if that happens, you must stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen. Now, the easiest way for me to do this is just take their heads off. Oops. There we go. If you actually hit them, uh, but don't kill them in one shot, uh, they almost always raise the alarm instantly. And then you've got to start this whole section all over again. So, let's hope I don't have to do that. Let's see. There's that guy to the left, though. He'll see this. Walk away. They do what I say. I can abuse that power. How are you still whistling? That's disturbing. I'm 
One more guy. He did it too. It's like a magic whistle. Get out of here. Ooh. I think that's a good, quote unquote, good tattoo though. Hopefully I can get some uh, tattoo artist to ink me up a little bit in a while. Here, you heard what happened to Stern? No. What did the idiot do this time? He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. Uh, was a week before he could get back into the camp. Yeah. You can't get in unless you're in full gear these days. If you ask me, old Twin Blade's getting a bit jumpy. Don't know what's got into him. Hey! Who's that? Don't worry about it. Hey, they listen to me. Problem solved. I just die already, dude. All right. Oops. Go check out my arrow. There you go. Be stupid. Now, it should be pretty obvious here that I have to collect uh, bandit clothing. I have a full set conveniently scattered around this area in chests, so... Kind of a dumb idea. You can only get in if you wear a full set of bandit armor. Let's put a full set along the path in completely unlocked chests. That makes sense. So, this is basically just progressing up this hill, killing everybody and stealing the armor. You're bowling me. Oh, since this area is kind of rinse and repeat, kill enemies, steal armor, I'm going to try to answer a couple of questions as I play through this. And, uh, questions basically everybody's asking. You know, one of the common ones I get is, what's that glow around your sword and is it there all the time? The, uh, the red glow is my fire augmentation. And that is there all the time. And uh, the only way to take that off is to sell the weapon. You can't remove the augmentation. And once you put it on a weapon, it's there permanently. The, uh, the, sorry about that, I didn't want to interrupt with the uh, lightning sound and stuff. The white glow 
um, is my flourish ability, the the power hit that I was able to do against Whisper earlier. Um, that builds up when you score a number of regular hits uh, without getting hit yourself. Uh, and that'll stay on there until either I use it or uh, I get hit. Damn, I'm good with arrows. And then there was another question about why I was going bald. And the reason behind that is because I'm going evil. Uh, I don't think it was necessarily intentional. I think it was more of an accident when they were modeling the, uh, the horns onto the character. Uh, but I mean, it adds to the game. Sorry, lad. And you do go under other physical changes when you go evil, uh, besides the loss of hair and the horns. Uh, your feet actually become cloven hooves later. Uh, most people don't ever notice that though, because you're usually wearing boots all the time. And then I think you start getting surrounded by like flies or wasps or something. They don't do anything, they're just like a, uh, a visual aid, I guess you could call it. Kind of like how a good character gets butterflies around them. Oh, I'm nervous about it. Come on. Take that tree. See if I can take his head off. Yes. I'm nervous about it. done with that part. This part is fun, it's just time consuming fighting your way up the mountain. What? Oh, you are not one of them, are you? My eyesight's not what it used to be. One was a gallant knight. His plate armor was so shiny. Probably what did my eyes in. Then there was an evil mage, wore the darkest magical robes you ever saw. The last was a rogue, a bandit, bit like the chaps here. Where is the gallant knight I await? Now this one's pretty simple, all you have to do is collect those three sets of armor. Uh, bright plate armor, uh, I think the other one was Dark Will Users, and then the Bandit set that you've already picked up. So let's go ahead and put the Bandit clothes on. You do have to wear them in order, though, so... Alright, the camp.